Hey kids, are you guys hip to the D20 system? Yeah, well this is Master of Arms Second World Simulations by Stephen Palmer Peterson. So, I love the artwork. To me, this reminds me of Dungeon Crawl Classics uh, or even old school heavy metal magazines. And that's one of the reasons why I picked it up. I haven't actually looked it up on eBay to even see what this thing is worth, but it's soft cover and just the artwork on the front page was almost worth it for me. Uh, Masters of Arms is all about hitting things, even the flavor text. This book provides a complete weapon-based martial arts system for practically every weapon in the game and a few things you wouldn't even recognize as weapons, like an uh, immovable rod, Master of Arms, oh, ooh, an immovable rod? Oh my god, I've been looking for those stats forever. Uh, Masters of Arms includes over 300 special maneuvers spread across more than 30 classes. Wow! All that in one book. So, let's uh, flip this open. It's from uh, Second World Simulations. That's the actual company that's uh, printed this soft cover. So, let's take a look. Something tells me this is something that you could probably get as a PDF on Drive-Thru RPG. But I have the soft cover. Maybe this is print on demand or maybe this is first edition. Wowzers. All right. So, let's take a look here if we could even find a date. It's got to be 2002, all rights reserved. All right, so let's flip through this. Masters of Arms. Ooh, look at that. Uh, uh, an orc hammering onto a human. Masters of Arms definitions. Black and white. Pages fill. It's a bound cover. Simple weapons. Immovable rod. Woo! Cost 7,500 gold pieces? Oh my god. Uh, yeah, and then some shields. So let's go through here. Combination maneuver structure, duration and effect, phase six comparing the totals, alpha beast. Uh, the gruff, hairy, bossy scratch themselves in unmentionable places and they are the absolute lords of their domains. Who doesn't want to be an alpha beast? Um, so we're just flipping through. A little bit of smudge. There's a uh, some nice artwork, Axe Power Fighter, Bashing Master, Blinking Master. So, I'm gonna keep flowing through here. Class features, Billowing Cloak. All right, so this is one of the reasons why I try and buy these old books. Not only that they're cheap, but I always try and, I, I, I've been trying to not make fun of these, but some of them have actually been quite bad. But I was looking into them and I'm like, there's got to be something good in here. So, uh, Cloak Blind. If you successfully grappled opponent, you may, as a grappling attack, wrap your cloak over their head and blind them. Boom. That is worth getting the book alone. Just like little blurbs like that as we flip through here, there's things that we can actually add to magical weapons or enhanced weapons even in your own D&D game. So that's one of the reasons why I look for these old books because uh, just now after seeing that, now you start looking around and there's gonna be some more. Disarming shot, so instead of actually shooting the person, you can shoot to try and get the weapon out of their hand. And we've all played the D&D game and we've always kind of wanted to do that and it's always been a DM's call but now if you have a weapon that actually or an arrow that's enhanced to do that it gives the players a little chance to be a hero um, so so far this is actually a pretty good book uh, great artwork a couple nice little splurges that I can use some of it is kind of pretty hokey the art's not that good but like I said it's not all about that stuff because uh, Whirling shield, wind up. You can win, uh, wind up your flail for a powerful strike. There you go. So something as simple as that uh, could be actually pretty good for your game. Uh, immovable rod master. Holy! Enough about the immovable rod. Is that you're like the big claim to fame to this book? I don't know. Kind of crazy. Uh, long spear master and sometimes in my games I've tried to make characters have to use weapons that they don't want I always get try and give them a magical weapon that nobody in the party uses like a spear and no one wants to be the spear guy but if you actually make that spear pretty rad 
you can actually force your players to go into a direction that they weren't actually thinking that they would go. 90% uh, of the time it's always failed, but there's been a couple times where they've been dragging around a, a, a spear and all of a sudden they find one use for it and they're like, that's totally rock. Ooh, look at that bandit pirate looking guy. Yeah, so spiked chain master, sword dagger master, sword and shield, telekinesis master, and we're flipping, and we're flipping, trident master. That's another weapon that not that many people use nowadays, but tridents I think would totally suck. It's like a spear with three tips on it. Imagine getting that with like a little barbed thing stuck in the sides, stuck in your leg, trying to pull that back out. Ouch. Combo maneuver construction template. That sounds like a lot of crunch there. So if you're a number of fan, that might be the page to photocopy. And here's the open guy game license. Uh, yeah. Master of Arms. The Second World Simulations. So if you're looking for a quick D20 system supplement book to add to your classes, this might be the book that you might be looking for. All right, so we'll just stay on this cover as we fade out to black. Thanks.